Last weekend, all sorts of people got healed in our church. And this is new to me. This is new. I can think of maybe two or three people in my lifetime. And so I, I would get probably about 10 at least that I know of in one weekend. And when they were praying for one of our pastor's wives, Karima, she had a broken toe. You know how it feels when you have a broken toe and you can't even put your shoe on. We were actually praying for her husband who didn't get healed. That was the pastor. And then as we're praying for him again the next day, she says, you know what, can you pray for my toe also? I know it's a small thing, but I broke it. You know, we just had a baby, yada, yada, yada. And I, I, I could barely put my shoe on this morning. And so that group prayed in faith and they would ask her, and this is new to me, What's the pain level? You don't have to be nice, just say it. She goes, it's a little better. If it was a 10, maybe eight, let's pray again. Again? You know, like, that's pretty good. Let's just say, no, let's go again, nothing. You know, well, maybe a seven. Oh, it feels better. Now it's just a little bit. And hey, don't be nice, just be honest. We're not doing the healing, God is. And it got all the way down to where she says, you know what, it's just this little sharp pain now. This is crazy, it's just this little sharp pain. I would say it went from a 10 to a two. And they're like, let's keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. And honestly, I wasn't praying praying because I'm at the point where I'm like, maybe I mess things up. Seriously, this is what I'm thinking. I wonder if it's my lack of faith. I don't want to assume. Maybe I don't see it because whenever I'm in the room, it just won't happen. And then I just thought, that's a lie from the enemy. That is so unbiblical. Like that doesn't make any sense biblically. That's my flesh, that's Satan. And I just was prompted to be the one after they prayed for a while to get on my knees at her feet and hold her toe and pray. And in my mind, I'm just saying, Lord, this is not out loud. Lord, I don't want her leaving here going, hmm, yeah, it feels better. God, make her scream. Make her just to where she can't contain like you moved. It is not emotion, power of the Holy Spirit. And when she just started going, no, no, look at this, look at this, you know, and just praising God and tears coming down her face. And then two of the guys said, we had talked before you got on your face and we both heard from the Lord that last two degrees of pain is gonna come from Francis. Get that faith in him. This is all new to me, okay? Of I'm not making any statements of theologically I've been off or this or that. I'm just saying what happened. And then for others in our church, not just strangers, it wasn't acts, these are people I know that aren't fakers, these are, are people that in our church, we, we didn't even believe in a lot of these gifts. And I thank you, Sam, for even your book because it, in your writings, your teachings, it, it, it through the mind, not through experience. This is what I'm talking about now is I'm starting to question some of my theology based upon this experience. I may be off on some things, but the other stuff I felt like I was off theologically um, but after, you, you know, through, through uh, I don't know, basically I read his book and it changed the way I thought about things. Okay, I'm trying to sound smart. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, and the ESV is wrong in one other place. No, I'm kidding. Um, I, I'll just be quiet. Like that's, that's just what's been happening. And, and it, it, for the first weekend, I feel like people in the church we're, we're feeling that acts to like feeling a sense of awe. Like what just happened? We're not like this. And these people came from a different, a group that I have slandered in the past, taken a sledgehammer to, who dearly loved Jesus. And I thank God for them imparting maybe just something new, a new persistence in my prayer that we know is biblical. 
and I never applied it to the gift of healing. So there's my confession, there's my testimony.